Okay, this tutorial or video, let's call it that way. It's about testing this LED driver. It's basically a transformer for LEDs. This is a strip of LED, 50-50 type. Okay, and this transformer looks like this. It's rated for 5 amps. And basically it transforms the 220 volts, in this case, from AC to 12 volts DC. From alternative current at a higher voltage, it will make a direct current at a lower voltage. Okay, so that's the front part of the transformer. We have an L and an N. That's the line and neutral of the AC input. That is basically the plus and minus version of alternative current. And the other two, this one on the right side is the output, the positive and the negative, the 12 volts DC. And the middle one, it's a grounding connection. Okay, so I will use a simple cable like so this is for the 210 volts and this is going to be inserted into the transformer so let's take a screwdriver and loosen up the screws and I will insert the end of the cable below these one cable to the left and one cable to the right and Let's tighten these screws. Okay, something like that, it's enough. So I just connected the line and the neutral, that is the 220 volts, to this transformer. And now I will plug it in. And if the transformer blows up in front of the camera, then the transformer transformer is obviously not working but if the green LED comes up then it is functional oops okay there's another connection wait okay so it did not blow up and the LED is on so that means it's working let's see this way the LED will go out okay and it's not on instantly okay so that's one thing now make sure you don't touch here on the left side those metal elements and let's test the output that's a LED stripe and the red is the plus and the black is the minus and let me try to connect it here onto the right side without touching anything else and voila it's working so the LED transformer it's okay so that's how to test an LED driver designed to power these things thanks for watching and bye bye okay let's add some more info here it says 5 amps but I don't recommend running these at a load of 5 amps because <laughs> it will heat up and it will not work anymore okay and it has some transistors here on the right side that metal thing there it's visible the shiny one that uh, transistor is connected to the entire outside body so the entire metal case will heat up when the consumer is applied if you want to make it last longer you should put a fan around it so it will blow off the heat from the unit and that's it it can be used at 120 volts and 220 also you have also a voltage adjuster potentiometer here we adjust that's it. Enough. Bye-bye.